As you get a view of what's happening here outside, no fog for us right now in downtown Indy. 53 remaining calm, so calm, 53 degrees. About 46 for you in Muncie, 50 for you in Peru. So, skies are clear for now. You'll notice that. Skies will not remain clear all day long. Now, we'll have clouds thickening. Right now, we're watching a little fog, mainly uh, in the metro area. Visibility in Indianapolis is pretty normal, but as you get into Hamilton County and travel to the north, you'll notice the lowered visibility this morning. So, a little fog. What does that mean for you? That means this morning, the low beam lights as you travel out, extra distance, so you have the car in front of you, and you just want to slow down overall. So, patchy fog this morning. We'll burn that off at sunrise, and then temperatures will begin to surge again. You'll notice the increase in cloud cover, but temperatures warming to 73. See, yesterday we had a high temperature of 73 degrees. Today we're there again. The only difference is the cloud cover that's going to sit over the area. Let's take a look at that cloud cover. So today, four, we're starting to see that cloud cover lock us in. Models are indicating that we could see a spotty sprinkle. I think we remain dry, but I think you will notice the clouds. Clouds continue to increase throughout the afternoon hours. As we go throughout the day on Thursday, we'll start out with cloudy skies. 69 for your lunch hour tomorrow is still a great day with a high of 72, but you'll notice after we hit that high temperatures, winds will begin to pick up ahead of the cold front. See, a cold front will slide over the area on Thursday night into Friday. The overnight hours, we are now under the marginal risk. You'll notice the slight risk for southern Indiana into Kentucky, into parts of Tennessee. Slight risk for stronger to severe storms. For us, the issue will be the strong winds that will have slide over us as the storms move in. So here it is, cold front passing. Late Thursday night into Friday, you'll notice some scattered showers that slide along with the system. Some rain in the early morning hours, some heavier downpours through the early morning hours on Friday. But by Friday afternoon, the system begins to pull out of the area. We're locked in with some clouds and the possibility of a spot shower, but overall, uh, this is really an early morning system. So weather action day, the action needed. Grab the umbrella. We're talking wind and rain. The weekend, much cooler behind the cold front. Temperatures drop down into the 50s for Saturday and Sunday. So we really cool down. That's why you have to enjoy today a mix of sun and clouds with a high of 73.